Antonio Bardolino, Italian pronunciation, N, modifier letter vertical line T, Latin small letter open O, modifier letter triangular colon Joe Bardell, modifier letter vertical line Lee, modifier letter triangular colon No, May 4th, 1945, May 26th, 1988 was a powerful Neapolitan Camarista and boss of the Casalesi clan, having a prominent role in the organized crime in the province of Caserta during the 1980s. He was one of the last of the old-style Camor godfathers. Powerful Camarista originally from San Cipriano di Versa in the Italian province of Caserta, Bartolino was an important Cosa Nostra affiliate in the region of Campania. Bardellino was the reference point of all Camorra clans, even the ones that could not stand him. With his charisma he managed to maintain a certain equilibrium in Campania, according to the Pentito Pasquale Galasso. He was the founder of the Casalesi clan, around which for almost a decade moved a united confederation of families Schiavone, Bignetti, Zagaria, Iovine, Venosa, rooted in a large territory which extended from southern Lazio through the Egro of Versano, countryside near Aversa, to Naples. Ties with Cosa Nostra Bardolino had close and powerful contacts within the Sicilian Mafia, initially with the Porto Nuova family of Pippo Callo. He was one of the few Camorra bosses who were also initiated into Cosa Nostra. Together with Lorenzo Nuvoletta and Michel Zazza, he was sworn in to seal a pact on cigarette smuggling in 1975.In contrast to the Nuvoletta brothers, who were allied with the Corleonesi headed by Luciano Leggio and Salvatore Riena, Bartolino was allied with Rosario Rico Bono, Stefano Bontad, Gaetano Badalamenti, and Tommaso Buceta, all heads of fallen Palermo families which were defeated by the Corleonesi in the Second Mafia War and forced to flee. Underworld Rackets It is believed that Bartolino was the initiator of the Casalesi clan in the area of Casal di Principe and San Cipriano di Versa, especially due to the transformation he implemented within the clan. The rituals of affiliation remained, as well as the rate of murders, but the leap in quality was the continued infiltration of the legitimate economy with the proceeds of illicit drug trafficking. This was favored by the 1980 Irpinia earthquake and the subsequent reconstruction, which prompted the families to create a consortium for their companies that performed the work of earth moving and construction. Another factor was the great entrepreneurial ability of Bartolino himself. He owned an fish flower import export business together with other clans, which in fact covered up a Brazilian cocaine smuggling operation. Besides trafficking cocaine, he was involved in the heroin trade with Lorenzo Nuvoletta and Ciro Mazzarella, supplying the Sicilian Mafia. In the 1980s, Bartolino realized that cocaine, not heroin, would become the more profitable drug and organized a trafficking operation smuggling it from Latin America to Aversa via his front business. Heroin was smuggled as well, and shipments to the Gambino crime family were concealed inside espresso filters. When one shipment was intercepted by the authorities, Bartolino reportedly called John Gotti and told him, Don't worry, now we're sending twice as much the other way. Nuova Familia Bardolino was the main exponent of the Nuova Familia, NF, a confederation of clans that was formed to contrast the growing power of the predominant Nuova Camorra Organizzata, NCO, led by Rafael Cutolo. The NF consisted of Bardolino, Michel Zazza, a Camorra boss with strong ties with Cosa Nostra, the Gianta clan, from Torre Annunziata, the Nuvoletta clan from Murano, the Alfieri clan of Saviano led by Carmine Alfieri, the Galasso clan of Paggio Marino, led by Pasquale Galasso, the Giuliano clan from Naples Quarter Forcella, led by Luigi Giuliano, and the Valaro clan from Portici, led by Luigi Valaro. The resulting war between the NF and the NCO resulted in a large number of victims from both sides, and ended with the NCO's defeat and the victory of the NF. However, with Cutolo and the NCO out of the picture, the NF alliance soon disintegrated, with a war breaking out between the Bartolino and Nuvoletta clans towards the end of 1983. 
war with the New Valetas while the Second Mafia War between the Corleonesi and the Bonte Busetta and Zirillo Battle Amanti faction was being fought in Sicily, its effects were being felt on the Campanian underworld. The Corleonesi boss, Salvatore Riena, mandated Lorenzo Nuvoletta to order the murder of Tommaso Busetta. Nuvoletta, in turn, passed the order to Bartolino. The order was not brought to an end, because Bartolino had been good friends with Busetta in Sicily, and had once shared the same house with Busetta in Brazil when the latter was absconding. He also deeply distrusted the New Valettas and was unwilling to accept the supremacy of the New Valletta brothers with the interference of the Corleonesi. Bartolino's attitude soon marked him for death, and he would spend the last years of life in hiding outside Italy including Spain, Brazil and Santo Domingo. Towards the end of 1982, thanks to a tip-off from the local police, Antonio Bartolino managed to evade capture in his Rio de Janeiro apartment. Despite this setback, a meeting was soon arranged between Bartolino and the New Valetas in Zurich, but Aniello New Valetta was arrested at the rendezvous. Many other leaders of the New Valletta clan would have been arrested had they not suffered a chance accident in northern Italy, near the Swiss border. Bartolino was arrested in Barcelona in Spain in November 1983, but he was inexplicably released on bail and disappeared soon afterwards. Victory The clash with the New Valletta clan resulted in Bartolino's victory. An attack was made at the Nuvoletta family's farm in Murano, which resulted in the death of Zero Nuvoletta, one of the brothers. Two months later, events culminated with an attack at Torre Nunziata, an area infamous for its illegal activities, which led to the massacre of eight members of the Gianta clan allied with the Nuvolettas at the Circolo di Pescatori, Fisherman's Club. Another 24 were wounded. This episode was known as the Torre Nunziata Massacre in the local press, and is perhaps the worst gangland massacre to ever take place in Italy. This victory further allowed Antonio Bartolino to expand his sphere of control and influence to include almost the entire province of Caserta and Naples. In spite of being a fugitive sought by Interpol, Bartolino could exercise his power and coordinate criminal activities unhindered, but the disagreements came with the Casalesi itself. Assassination According to the official version of the story, on May 26, 1988, Antonio Bartolino was murdered by his right-hand man, Mario Iovine in his Brazilian home at Biasios, a beachside resort for the rich and famous in the state of Rio de Janeiro, as part of an internal feud within the Casalesi. However, this story has never been verified because his body was never found and the alleged assassin, Iovine, was himself murdered in Portugal in 1991 while using a phone booth. These circumstances have fueled a legend that Bartolino is still alive and has left power in the hands of the other families within the Casalesi clan in order to ensure the survival of his family. When his old friend, Tommaso Busetta who later became a pantito was asked about the status of Bartolino during a testimony before the Anti-Mafia Commission, he replied, Is it already obvious that Bartolino died? I do not know, but I do not believe that he is dead. After the news of Bartolino's death spread, his family left their homes and native areas to take refuge in Formia where they still reside. After the disappearance of Antonio Bartolino, the five families, Schiavone, Iovine, Bignetti, De Falco and Zagaria took control, each with their own army. His former ally Umberto Amaturo, who turned state witness, Pantito also said Bartolino was still alive when he gave a rare interview to La Repubblica newspaper in May 2010. See also list of people who disappeared. Notes. References in Italian El Etergarsi della Sosisni Mafio Sulla Base del Esperienza Processually Exquisite. La Camorra. Luigi Gay, Sostituto Procurator della Repubblica Presso il Tribunale di Napoli Behan, Tom, 1996. The Camorra, London, Routledge, ISBN, 0-415-09987-0 Jacques Met, Marco, 1996. Credibility in Court. 
Communicative Practices in the Kimura Trials, Cambridge University Press ISBN 0-521-55251-6 Saviano, Roberto, Gomorra, Italy's Other Mafia, New York, Fair, Strauss and Giroux ISBN 0-374-16527-0 Shaw Cross, Tim and Martin Young, 1987. Man of Honor. The Confessions of Tommaso Busetta, Glasgow. Collins ISBN 0-00-217589-4 Sterling, Claire, 1990. Octopus. How the Long Reach of the Sicilian Mafia Controls the Global Narcotics Trade, New York. Simon & Schuster, ISBN 0-671-73402-4 Verbally Commissioned Own Parliamentar Anti-Mafia. XIXIV Legislatura.